welcome back in this class we are going to discuss about the switch logic here what is meant by switch logic absolutely when input is applied to either source or drain terminal of MOSFET is it clear now you can observe that if let us consider this is an NMOS transistor this is gate source drain if you apply the input to the source terminal if you collect the output at the drain terminal okay then this type of logic is known as switch logic is it clear now majorly we are having two types of switch logics the first is a pass transistor logic and the second one is a transmission gate logic this is a pass transistor logic and this is a transmission gate logic is it clear in the unit number one we already talk about pass transistor logic Okay, once again we are going to recall what is meant by pass transistor and what is meant by pass transistor logic and after that we will talk about the drawback of it and uh, we will move to the transmission gate logic. Is it clear? Now just we will look out what is meant by pass transistor. Now you can observe that pass transistor, a simple single mass transistor is known as pass transistor. If you observe that a simple single MOS transistor, that is an important point, you have to talk about a single MOS transistor. Can you please tell me what are the examples of this one? Absolutely. N MOS and P MOS. Okay. N MOS and P MOS are the examples of pass transistor. What about C MOS? C MOS is a pass transistor? No, C MOS is not a pass transistor. Then what about by C MOS? By CMOS is a pass transistor? No, by CMOS is not a pass transistor. Is it clear? Now, if you talk about pass transistor logic here, okay, it is a switch logic. It is one of the switch logic where input is applied to either source or drain terminal of MOSFET. Is it clear? But don't forget, in this pass transistor logic, okay, only single MOS transistors are going to be used to give one of the input. Is it clear? then uh, you are else you can club the uh, source terminal and uh, you can give one input is it understood then we will look out the n mass and p mass as a pass transistor n mass okay and p mass as a pass transistor you know very well in unit number one this is your n mass transistor and this is your P MOS transistor. Let us consider when this N MOS is going to be transformed. Absolutely, when gate is connected to VDD. Whereas when this P MOS is going to be transformed, when gate is connected to VSS. Now let us consider this is an input side and this is an output side. Here also let us consider this is an input side and this is an output side. If you observe that if input is now I am talking about in terms of uh, voltages. If input is 0 volts, okay, what is an output of N mass? Absolutely, 0 volts. Is it clear? Now if the input is VDD, okay, let us consider the threshold voltage of uh, this transistor is VTN this transistor is minus VTP okay if the input is VDD then the output is VDD minus VTN okay similarly here if you observe that if the input is 0 volts then the output is magnitude of VTP if the input is VDD Okay, that is 5 volts. Don't forget if the input is VDD means 5 volts, then the output is VDD. Now, based on this, you can very clear that this N mass is passing strong 0, but it is not able to pass strong 1. If you talk about in binary, it is not able to pass strong 1, it is less than 1. I hope that are you clear. It is less than 1. Is it understood? Okay. The value is 
less than one sorry for that i yeah the value whatever the value you are obtaining it is less than one is it understood similarly if you talk about p mass transistor it passes strong one okay but it is not able to pass strong zero this value is greater than zero whatever the value you are obtaining i hope that are you clear now you can observe that in n mass strong z strong zero is going to be appear in p mass strong one is going to be appear is it clear therefore what is the drawback present here there is no full swing that is a major drawback present in the pass transistor logic what is the drawback you can talk about there is no full swing at all is it clear now what is an idea to get the full swing the idea to get the full swing is okay absolutely absolutely okay you have to connect both n mass and p mass in a parallel combination then you may get a full swing then that logic is known as transmission gate logic i hope that are you clear now you can observe this i will show first of all the characteristics okay later you can talk about this now you can observe that let us consider this is v in this is v out okay if input is zero okay who will turn on p mass will turn on and it will start to give an output of what absolutely one is it clear now you can observe that like this it will try to move to the charging side if uh, v in is equals to vdd n mass will on then it will try to yeah absolutely it will try to give the discharging set now you can observe that here here this portion is going to be cut and you can get a constant output here is it clear the idea is this one and you can observe that if i am having a p mass transistor like this if i am having an n mass transistor like this if i club these two and if i give a common input and if i collected a common output let us consider if it is uh, s then it becomes s complement then since parallelly connected okay you can observe the parallel combination of both n mass and p mass parallel combination of n mass and p mass okay is known as what transmission gate logic is it clear is known as tgl transmission gate okay and l stands for logic what is meant by transmission gate parallel combination of n mass and p mass is known as transmission gate why it is called as transmission can anybody try to tell absolutely why because if the input is zero it will flow like this and don't forget it will also flow like this okay depending upon uh, this one if s is equals to 0 let us consider this case then this will be in on condition and also this will be okay, sorry this will be in off condition and this will be in off condition there is no flow here okay now if you talk about when s is equals to 1 here when s is equals to 1 what will happen this becomes zero and this becomes one therefore this transistor will turn on this transistor will turn on therefore if the input is zero it will flow like this and also it will flow like this we know very well that n mass will provide full swing therefore the output is zero similarly if the input is one here also it will flow like this it will flow like this and it will flow like this now we know very well who will provide the full swing p mass will provide the full swing for one therefore what is the output one 
that means whatever the input applied here the uh, the input is uh, transmitting to the other side as it is lay therefore this gate is known as what transmission gate is it understood once again what the parallel combination of n mos and p mos is known as what transmission gate then what is this logic it is one of the switch logic don't forget that is it clear now you can observe that uh, this is one type of symbol so uh, sorry for that this is one type of symbol for transmission gate this may be input this may be output let us consider s complement s this is one type of symbol this is also one type of symbol somebody will tell like this also this becomes input and this becomes output as usual s complement s this is the transmission gate symbol this one the transmission gate this one is also transmission gate is it clear all of you now what is the advantage present here can anybody try to tell absolutely there is a full swing here there is a full swing here and what is the drawback absolutely okay in pass transistor you are having only one transistor one transistor in pass transistor logic but in transmission gate logic you have to replace with how many transistor two transistor that is a drawback i hope that are clear okay in the next class we will see how to implement okay some logics using switch logic is it clear how to implement it that means in the next class we will talk about implementation of some combination and sequential circuits using switch logic is it clear thank you very much have a nice day if you are having any queries please comment thank you very much